all living organisms require food to survive. Now, a portion of the food gets digested and the portion of the food that remains undigested needs to be excreted out. So whenever we feel the need to excrete out the waste materials, we just go and use the washroom. But what about the plants? Plants are fixed in one position. How do they excrete out their waste products? See, this is a plant cell. All the organelles in this plant cell is moving along the periphery. Why is it not moving through the middle? Well, this is because of the presence of a transparent sac-like structure that is occupying the maximum space in this cell. This sac-like structure present in the plant cells is known as the vacuoles. These vacuoles have a dual function. They can store food and also waste materials. So just like leucoplasts, vacuoles can store food, but unlike leucoplasts, vacuoles have a single membrane. These vacuoles do not respond to any adversities of the cell. Any food or any waste molecule can just come and fuse with the vacuole. The vacuole does not take part in any decision making. It does not have any screening mechanism uh, of any food particles or particular waste particles that get fused. Any food or any waste particles can come and fuse with the vacuole. And these food particles are not retrievable later. Even when the cell is starving or is almost dying, the food that is stored inside this vacuole cannot be retrieved or cannot be utilized by the cell. The food that is stored inside the vacuole is utilized only by the vacuole. Now, there are many cellular structures in both the plant cells and the animal cells. Now see, these organelles are very important structures in the cells. If a single organelle like the nucleus or the lysosome or the endoplasmic reticulum, if even one organelle gets affected, the entire cell gets affected or even the cell can die. So since these organelles are very important parts of the cell and they facilitate the living or the living component of the cell, these organelles are living in nature. Now, what are these cellular organelles made of? Well, they are made up of molecules like the proteins, the carbohydrates, and the lipids. These three molecules make up the cellular organelles. Now, individually, these molecules are not self-functional. But when all the three molecules come together, they form the functional cellular organelles. So these constituents that make up the cell organelles are the non-living component of the cell. So the vacuoles are just a deposition of food and waste materials. They do not show any response to the adverse conditions of the cell. They do not provide the cell with the food that remains stored in the vacuoles. And hence, the vacuoles are the non-living parts of the cell because they do not take part in any decision making. Any food and any waste particle can just come and get fused with the vacuole. And these particles cannot be retrieved again later. Similarly, 
the cell wall is just a deposition of cellulose. No cell reactions take place in the cell wall. Now see, there are a lot of pores in the cell wall. Now these pores allow any molecule to flow through them. So the cell wall does not take part in any decision making. It allows all molecules to flow through. It does not have a screening mechanism that allows or does not allow a specific molecule. Since they do not take part in any decision making, we can say that even the cell wall is a dead component of the cell. So the living component of the cell consists of all the cellular organelles like the nucleus, the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi complex. All of these structures are known as the cell organelles. And the non-living parts of the cells consist of the vacuoles or the cell walls or the constituents that make up all these uh, cellular organelles and they are the These are known as the cell inclusions. They do not take part in any decision making, so they are the non-living part of the cell.